Uh, what is uh, differentiating and integrating? In calculus, that's pretty much what it all is. So I'll start with what differentiating is. If you have a, a line, this is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis, and you start at the origin and you draw a line, then this line has a slope. And draw a point on this line and a point here. This is called the run. And that's called x1. And that's called x2. And this is called the rise of the slope. And uh, this is called y1. And this is called y2. And so to get the uh, slope of this line, what you do is you take the rise, y2, minus y1, and divide it by the run, at x2 minus x1. And this ratio will give you the slope of this line. And for this line, this is known as a first order equation because it's a straight line. And so I can take a point here, and a point here, and I get the same ratio. Or a point here and a point here, I get the same ratio. So this ratio, no matter what point on this line I'm looking at, this ratio will always be the same. And this is called the uh, slope of the line. It's also known as the tangent. Because in, cal in the trigonometry, if this is the angle, then the tangent is the far side over the adjacent side. And so the far side divided by the adjacent side equals the tangent of the angle. And so if you uh, put an angle here, then this is the far side and this is the adjacent side. So the slope and the tangent are the same thing. And in calculus, if you have an equation and you want to find the slope of the line, it's called, di it's called differentiating. So when you differentiate an equation, you're finding the slope of that line. This is a first order equation. That means you have an equation like y equals uh, some constant c times x. And there's a plus c over here because your line may not start at the origin. If it starts at the origin, then this equals 0. And then it's just y equals cx. But if you move your line, maybe it starts here or it starts here, then you need to add in this constant. But just for a simple line starting at the origin, you can just say y equals cx. That means it starts out at 0 and it ends somewhere else. Um, instead of using uh, y and x, we can use something else. Let's say we use uh, s for distance and t for time. And then we draw the same line. Now what we have is uh, S2 minus S1 over T2 minus T1. And that will give us the slope of this line, or the tangent of this line. And if we say S is distance and T is time, then this is distance divided by time. So the ratio for this distance divided by time as you know, is velocity. So velocity of this equation is the, is the slope of the line. So distance divided by time is velocity. So we can, if we can find the slope of this, this line by differentiating, uh, we can get the velocity. And this is a first order equation. If we have a second order equation, uh, like x and y again, I mean uh, y and x again. A second order equation might look something like this. Now you see that the slope is no longer a simple line. Now it's, it's a tangent. It's still going to be a tangent. It's still going to be a ratio. But you can't take two points anymore. You have to, you have to shrink this down. You can only take one point and draw a tangent to it. And this tangent right here still works the same way, 
but you, you can't use two points like you could here. This is called an average, average velocity. For this type of equation, an average velocity also equals the instantaneous velocity. Um, but here it doesn't. The average velocity for a second order equation uh, does not equal the, the same thing as the instantaneous velocity. They're two different things. So for many, many years, many people could not figure out what the instantaneous velocity would be. So what you can do is, knowing that this is the slope of a line and the equation for a line is y equals, um, call it m, x, well, this is going to be the slope of the line. So if you're going to differentiate and you know this is the first order equation, then you know that this, this is the slope and differentiating gives you the slope then after you differentiate, you should wind up with um, uh, the differentiated y should equal m because that's the slope of a line. So knowing that, 